All right, now we're gonna talk about price list. True story, at least it's true right now. Yesterday, I went to In-N-Out Hamburger. I had a gift card for $25, and I needed. I wanted to spend the whole gift card because it's a drive to get In-N-Out, and I don't wanna have like $3 left on the card. So I was doing a whole bunch of math in my head, trying to figure out what I should buy so I can burn through the entire gift card. So I was thinking, do I need eight hamburgers and five fries or nine hamburgers and six fries or seven hamburgers? We we're trying to feed how many people? Eight people, three of them were kids. So either way, I was gonna have enough food. But I was doing all this math, trying to figure out how close to my $25 gift card I could get. And I actually got within, I was at $25.49 when it was all done. Not too bad. So why do I tell you that? Because it applies to this. What we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna be looking at price lists and doing some math. So what you have to do first is you have to find the items on the list. So find items And then you have to do some math, probably adding them together or subtracting. Find items on the list and their prices. Find items on the list and prices. Right? Find the items on the list and the prices. And then add, subtract, and look for the keywords that are going to be telling you or indicating if you're adding or subtracting. So we'll have to use our brains here. Here we go. Ready? How much more does a chocolate cake cost and a key lime pie? Okay, so I'm looking at a key lime pie and a chocolate cake. Where are those guys? And it wants to know how much more is the chocolate cake? How much more is that chocolate cake? Well, the pie is $10, the cake is 19. How much more is the cake? The cake is $9 more, right? What was the math there? Was that 19 minus 10? Nine dollars more. See, you already like these problems. Key lime pie. Have you had key lime pie? I think it's interesting. I think maybe I've never had a really good key lime pie. Maybe I've had a really good key lime pie. I'd like it. Cheesecake. Okay, it's almost lunchtime. How much money does Mitch need to buy a package of confetti, a greeting card, and a birthday balloon? Well, let's figure this out. He wants to buy some confetti, a greeting card, and a birthday balloon. How much is that gonna cost him? All those things together. What kind of math am I gonna do? Multiply, add, divide, subtract. Looks like an addition problem to me. Let's add those together. So I have. 0.89 plus 27 cents plus 47 cents. Let's add them together. This is 14 plus 9, which takes me to 23. And this is 8 plus 2, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. A dollar sixty-three. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah, I think that seems very reasonable. A dollar sixty-three. Ariel has five hundred and sixty-one dollars. Does she have enough to buy a year's supply of candy and a year's supply of soda? <laughs> wow. Wow. A year's supply of soda. $201 for soda and candy. There's candy and soda. How much total would those two items cost? What kind of math is that? Total, some addition. So let's add those numbers together. So we have 201 and 383. So it's 584, oh, we can't see that, sorry. $584, $584. How much does Ariel have? She has $561. This is how much she has. This is how much she needs. 
Does she have enough money? She does not have enough money. Nope, sorry. That's good, because she doesn't need that much candy and soda anyway. Yeah, why Why isn't it like the year's supply of carrots here, huh? The year's supply of broccoli. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, okay. Hisashi? Hisashi? Has a dollar twenty-two. How much money will Hisashi have left if he buys a pumice stone and a piece of red sandstone? Interesting items here. Okay, so he's gonna buy some sandstone and a pumice stone. So how much does he spend for those two things? Sandstone is seventy-four cents. Pumice stone is twelve cents. Together, that is eighty-six cents. So he's spending eighty-six cents. How much money does he have? That's how much he has? This is how much he's going to spend. How much is he going to have left? Has this much? Spending this much? How much is he going to have left? What kind of math is that? Addition? Subtraction? Subtraction, right? 122 minus 86 cents. We're going to have to do some serious borrowing here. We'll have 36 cents left. I'm just going to check my work on that. 86 plus 36, 1, 2, 9, 122. Good. Okay. He'll have 36 cents left. All right. That's it for this video. Remember, this is real math. This is good stuff. People use this kind of math when they're shopping and trying to figure out the best purchases. All right. Thanks for watching.